I cannot believe this. <laughs> So hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Pater with you tonight. We're gonna try a new recipe for you. We're going way back. Are you ready for this? We're gonna try out potato water biscuits. What? <laughs> That's right, you got a new one on me and we're gonna try it out just for you. This could be fabulous. This could be uh, or this could be something that we could modify again and try to work it out. It's good to know how to manipulate different items in your pantry because that's what Granny did. Let's see what we got going on here. Okay, first things first, you're going to take the water that you use to boil down your potatoes, like you're making mashed potatoes. So we had mashed potatoes for lunch today and I poured off all the water and I kept every bit of it. Now that's always gonna vary, okay? So you're gonna be, be needing somewhere in the ballpark of about a half a cup. We're just gonna wing this people. If we have to add more flour, we will. So I have already got that portioned out. Now I did strain it. So I poured it off of the potatoes, chilled it, and then I have literally poured it through the strainer a couple of times to make sure I got most of the foam or any funky cold Medina off of it, right? So we've got our about a little less than a half a cup. What I'm gonna do is pour it into the glass and then we're gonna add vinegar. Now, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon or so right in. It's just like my other regular biscuit recipes. If you're making soured milk, kind of like a buttermilk replacer, you're gonna take your white vinegar, you're gonna put it in your regular milk and let it sit first. It's sort of a clabbering effect, okay? So that's no different. Let's move ahead. So the whole idea of making biscuits this way, or attempting to at least, is not only to manipulate your pantry, but it's a scenario in which you don't have any dairy. Okie dokie, artichokey. We're gonna let her sit over here with the rolling pin and with our sweet little cutter right there and the bowl. Just simmer down, baby, simmer down. Okay, we're gonna come over here. Here's what I've done. I've got about two cups. I may have to add more, I don't know. Two cups of plain white flour and I did sift it. We're gonna put in about three teaspoons of your baking powder. About a quarter to a half of your soda, your baking soda right there, a good old pinch. We're gonna add in a heavy, heavy pinch of salt, about a teaspoon or so, do what works for you. Sugar baby, sugar baby, come and give me some sugar baby. We're gonna add in two teaspoons of sugar. Now, this is where you can change it up. But see, here's the thing. If I don't have milk, I may not have butter. So I may have to resort to something more likely Granny did. My grandmothers used Crisco like crazy. But if you go much further back, you and I both know the queen ingredient for anything delicious was lard. So I'm gonna go strictly with Crisco this time but know that splitting the fats or mixing them up, if you wanna try this out, is an awesome resource, but we're not gonna cheat. No cheaters. Okay, butter, we might put you on the biscuit later. Let's move you to the side. Okay, so now you have your fat, all that yummy fat into your flour mixture. Now it's time to mix it up. You wanna get it crumbly. Time to get in there. Okay, so I've mixed it with my hands. It kind of comes out like cornmeal, no different than any other biscuit you're gonna make. Now we're gonna add the potato water. Okie dokie. Let's see what she does. Okay, it's very soft, it's very light, it's very fluffy, it's a little bit crumbly, so if you've made biscuits like with a lot of butter, they're, they're a little bit more flaky and crumbly, um, so, but it's not sticky at all. 
Okay, I may have not said this. You need to preheat your oven at 425. I put this griddle that you see me use all the time in there. It's hot as fire. So that is ready to go. Let's cut these biscuits. She's rolling out pretty good. Like I said, kind of flaky. <laughs> I'm gonna do what I always do. I'm gonna do them over one time. We'll use some of this flour. I'm gonna roll it out a little bit more. Well, I wasn't expecting this. Look how awesome this has turned out. We're gonna find out how good they are. Now, I doubled them over like I normally do. Didn't go with just one roll and cut. I wanna see how high they can rise up. So that's the test. So we got five whole big old biscuits. Let's see what they do. 425, let's see, maybe 15 minutes. Here we go. Let's see what we do here. Now, I am gonna use a little butter on this, on the dressing. Look at that. This is so good. You're not gonna believe this, honey. You're not gonna, you got your eye by it. It is so, do it, do it. You're not gonna believe it. Mm -hmm. Isn't it good? Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> give me a hug, give me, give me. I know, they're so good. Okay, it's so good. He's having another with his favorite jelly. He loves great jelly. You do that, baby, you do that. Major win, another option for you. Remember, there was no dairy in it until the end where we spoiled ourselves a little bit, and that's okay. Guys, thanks for watching. Try it out. You're going to be surprised. You're going to love it. We'll see you on the next video. What? You, you were dripping, and it was running down your chin because, you know, you were enjoying it so much. Mm-hmm.